Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Black Ops 3 live comp video. Now today is going to be different. I'm going to show you guys my stats. I've done this before in the past. If you guys missed those videos, I'll leave those links in the description just so you can see my progress or my degression depending on how you look at it. But anyways guys, I am level 257. I should have made a video when I was at level 100, but I said screw it. I just kept going. But anyways guys, let's get on to the good stuff. So today I'll be showing you my best class setups as well as my stats and all that hoopla you know the stuff that you guys are interested in first let's go over the class setups all right i'm pretty sure that's what you guys care about the most so so uh i'm just gonna go over them really briefly i'm not gonna go too in depth so basically i'm just gonna show you guys my classes so this is my preferred cuda class setup i'm rocking the suppressor extended mags fast mags then we got overclock hardwired scavenger and awareness now hold on before you guys say anything, why are you always use awareness? Well, you know, I have headphones. Of course, I'm going to use perks in the game that give me an advantage. All right. But if I were a normal everyday person and I didn't have headphones or whatever, I mean, I'll, I'll, let's flip the script real quick. If you have Apple headphones, like, like take these, for example, if you got these Apple headphones right here, right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. If you guys got Apple headphones, honestly, like you can just plug it into the back of your TV and it works the same as well. And you're going to see your game improve. And yes, I can play without awareness. Uh, you know, a lot of people think that I can't, but yes, I can. But, you know, if I'm always playing solo and I'm playing against full parties, why not use the perks that are going to give me an advantage? All right. So another thing that I want to point out is the reason why I put overclock is because I've been playing a lot of Nuketown lately overclock is a really great perk for nuketown i mean it's a great perk in general but i highly recommend it on nuketown because you get to move around the uh, map a lot more and then hardwired and scavenger are perks you're gonna see me use a lot in all of my other classes because look at all the stuff that it negates it negates so many different things and awareness allows me to use the same exact weapon because yo if i'm playing solo against a party think about it do i want to pick up a weapon that's not suppressed no because once i fire that gun their team is gonna say oh turbo man's right there go get him don't you see him on the mini map that's why i like using suppressor guys this is why i use what i use because i play solo and you know parties just like to gang up on me you know poor little turbo so that's why i use what i use all right so let's go on here this is my m8a7 class setup you want my you want my yeah uh yeah i cringed a little bit there too don't worry i did too inside uh yeah so this is my m8a7 class setup i'm rocking elo fast mags rapid fire and then for my secondary i'm using the mr6 pistol because m8a7 is not a really good all-around weapon okay once you go in a small little room you're not gonna do good with the m8a7 trust me you're not gonna win a gunfight well of course you will every now and then but most of the time if you go against like a cuda vmp you're gonna lose that gunfight in a really tight closed area so that's why i use the mr6 every time i go into a room switch to the mr6 and you're golden all right mr6 is not that bad either oh yeah let's go over the perks too uh here are the perks ghosts and the same the rest is the same now we over over here we got uh oh yeah by the way feel free to like change your perks you know to whatever you like okay just because i'm using awareness doesn't mean you got to use it too if i didn't have awareness i'd probably use blast suppressor coupled with dead silence all right that's a really really great class setup to combat against these sweaties all right so uh so we got grip fast mags extended mags so that's my vmp class setup this is my anti-streak setup you can uh, pause the screen if you need to i don't really want to go over it too much basically it's the black cell uh we got the emps then we got blind eye ghost cold-blooded engineer really great anti-score streak setup then we got the icr1 here i got the elo fast mag stock rapid fire it's a very high maintenance gun as you can see all the attachments that i gotta put onto it for it to feel like a really great weapon for me but it is a great weapon it just i feel like it needs too many attachments uh, but maybe I just suck at the game. This is my custom class. I can just, you know, if I feel like using the FFAR, I'll slap on the FFAR. If I, you know, basically any random gun that I feel like running around with, I'll put it over here in custom six. So then we got next, we got the HVK. We got the HVK, man, most underrated gun in the game. In my humble opinion, maybe as far as assault rifles go, I just spit on my screen. Oh, well, you guys didn't know that. Oh uh, yeah. So we got here the fast mags. Then we got grip, stock and uh the, yeah yeah that's that um we got the metal melter here so we got the elo we got fast mag stock and rapid fire okay we're at four minutes i'm looking at the time here i don't want this video to be too long all right uh we got uh so the best ar in my opinion in the game is the kane 44 and the 
I love using suppressor on this man the suppressor is amazing it doesn't do anything as far as you know hinder the damage in my opinion everyone's got their own opinions maybe there's statistical proof out there that shows that it does reduce damage but to me honestly I don't see it maybe it's my play style maybe it's the way I play uh, then I use stock and then uh, using all these perks here this is basically my try hard class setup when I'm like really backed up in a corner ganged up against parties and it's double XP weekend and I'm playing solo this is the class setup I will always use and it definitely has gotten me over the hump um yeah and then the last class i got here is the razor butt aka the razor back i love this class man uh we got fast mags then we got rapid fire and suppressor perks are basically the same so let's talk about why i have this setup once again it's because i play solo and all these perks give me an advantage as a solo player and it helps me like beat you know parties and stuff like that you know it helps me get over the hump like i said and it puts me at an advantage but of course not as much in his advantage as i would if i were playing in a party then my perks would be a lot different so yeah guys maybe this is something you guys can all relate to because maybe not all of you guys you know play in parties so let's go check out the barracks here so as you can see my kd ratio is a 2.57 0.63 win loss ratio and a 473 score per minute i know someone's gonna say oh your win loss ratio is so low well yes i play a lot of game objective modes well recently i have but at the beginning of the game i played a lot of domination but now i've been playing a lot of tdm because you know i feel like well if i'm gonna play solo what's the point of playing objective based game modes if i can't always win so that's why i've been playing a lot of tdm lately and i have 109,000 kills somebody left a comment saying yo bro that's fake i think you're bsing you do not have over 100,000 kills well here's the truth man here's the facts facts are facts i don't lie 109,000 kills and uh yeah let's see i got uh, 18 days played i don't know if that's a lot or not um, and then let's go check out my medals here. I know you guys are interested. I got one kill chain, ultra kills. Um, I got five mega kills, 26 super kills, 28 nuclears. Um, I don't really like go for nuclears like all the time. I kind of just play the game. I actually enjoy the game without having to go for nuclears because it's not the same as getting a camera or a DNA bomb. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, because it's not like you get to call it in and, you know, you get to destroy everybody on the map. But like, getting nuclears is still cool. It's a cool feeling. Um, then we got 74 Unstoppables, uh, 78 Brutals, 81 Frenzies. Uh, what else is uh, interesting here? 438 Furies, 630 Ruthlesses, 226 Relentless. Uh, anything else here? Triple kills. Mm, nose is itchy. All right. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't know what else I can show you guys, to be honest. Maybe I can show you guys my accuracy. Let's, um, yeah, let's go here. And here's my, uh, my calling card showcase have not changed it at all. And by the way, my, my KD ratio was at a 2.7 at one point, I believe. And I got to stress again, I play so low. So of course my KD is not going to be as high as it should be because I feel like I'm a probably a, a true 2.9 to 3 KD player. And you know, I, I play pretty fast, man. I'm a fast place player. I don't camp. I don't sit in corners. I don't do any of that because to me, that's boring. Honestly. I mean, some people it works for them, but for me, I like to venture out around the map and I like to actually push myself and actually progress as a player. So that's why I like putting myself in uncomfortable situations, learning from that situation and then becoming a better player. So uh, that's why my score per minute is a 473. I've seen people with 600 something score per minute. That's just insane. That's the kind of level that I want to reach one day, but we're not quite there yet, but we're getting there. And uh, I have done, you know, the sniper challenges and I am going for dark matter. So that's why my KD ratio went down. That's why it's not as impressive, but still, I could definitely hold my own against three KD players. Best believe that. All right. So um, let's see. So we go to public. Then we got deadliest. Uh, so the K44, obviously my favorite weapon. Uh, I got a 23 accuracy with that. I don't know if that's good or not. 2.4 KD with it. 2.3 KD with the CUDA. Uh, 2.34 KD with the VMP, 2.61 with the v, uh, Weevil, yeah, yeah, yada. You guys can like pause the video if you need to, you know, for things that you may be interested in seeing like how I fare with those guns and uh, specialists. Here we go. I don't know what else to show you guys. You know, I think that's pretty much it, honestly. Oh yeah, I got arena. I got two wins in arena. I got a two K two win loss ratio. Oh, okay, I'm two for two. Nice. And I got a four KD ratio in arena. I have played arena twice and i actually like it i might play it a lot more 
uh, and i got 429 score per minute that's crazy man in arena mode that's cool that's pretty cool but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh this is my road to level 1000 and uh, prestige master level 200 next video will be 300 hope you guys enjoyed i hope this answered a lot of your questions what's my kd ratio you know stuff like that so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys did don't forget to drop a like and uh let's try to hit 200 no nah i was gonna say 257 likes now that's too low let's set some standards on this channel man let's try to hit I don't know 400 likes let's go for 400 likes if we could get that that would be really amazing it shows me you guys are there to support me and you guys are with me all the way to 50k man we're almost there and yeah guys by the way i do have a group while we're at it i might as well show you i do have a group here we have 405 members i've only uh it's only been established since, since may 10th and uh you guys could definitely join in if you want and i just recently announced it about a week ago that my my group is available to join so all you got to do is hit the search button find turbo man and join up and play with other people in the group and as well play with me too it's first come first serve if you see my lobby is open join it man you don't gotta wait for me to invite you just join it all right that's how you do it all right guys I'll see you guys in the next video peace